Hello guys, welcome back to Good Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Gotham Knights a very recently released game and how we can completely fix this up on the issues like crashing, crashing and startup, won't launching or it is not loading or you're having freezing and stuttering and you're having a low FPS drop, black screen after the startup and all those things issue and how we can fix this up. So without wasting time, let me directly get into the point. And also I would like to make you notice that we have already uploaded the articles. I mean, updated the articles on our website, get Troy Tips, where I'll be providing link in the des description where you can read the articles if you wanted to. So let's move to the workarounds. Sorry. So the first thing, what you have to do is when you're having this trouble, all you have to do is a simple restart. When you try to launch the game and you had a crashing, stuck on loading screen, black screen, freezing, lagging, whatever it may be, just do a restart. Okay, so go over here and go for a restart and most probably after a restart, try to launch the game by going to the Steam and that might be working out. Even after trying, then if it's not working, move to the second one. The second step is all about launch the game multiple times. That is, if you go to the Steam over here, Launch the game. When you launch the game for the first time, if it's getting crashing up, just do it once again. Then even if it's happening again, just do it once again. Because for some users, they have shared it in the, shared in the Reddit. It takes a little bit of time to launch, but even it worked. So that's why I'm saying try, try to launch the game for multiple of times and that might be working out. Next step is all about, it is all about you have to launch the game and you have to at the same time when you're launching the game, you have to press and spam Alt and Enter from the keyboard. For example, you open the Steam, launch the game. Simultaneously, at the moment when you launch the game, you have to spam Alt and Enter from the keyboard, and that has worked for many of the users, right? So launch the game and just press, or you have to spam Alt and Enter all together, and that worked for many of the users. So next step is all about you have to roll back your graphic drivers. This is very important step, and because one of the subscriber mentioned this worker for them, that's why we added this step. And even we tried our site and that also worked. So you can roll back your drivers from the existing driver to the back to one. You can run in two way. One is using uh, just going to the official NVIDIA or AMD, whatever it may be. You can go to the site and you can do this. I'll be providing that link in the description. Another one is using device manager. So for using device manager for that, you just have to click over here on the start. If you're on Windows 11, navigate to device manager. Now from here, you just have to navigate to over here on display and adapters as you can see minus G nvidia geforce rtx so i have to right click and i just have to go to the properties now go for driver over here there is an option called rollback driver right here it is grayed out for me so because that means i'm not having any issue but in some cases you'll be able to see rollback driver options so if you're having the rollback driver options you can do it from here itself you don't have to go to the official website give the uh, details of your graphics card then download the respective you don't have to do this you can do it from here, here itself if it is not available you don't have to worry you have to do it manually that is what you have to do so for doing it manually you just have to go to the official website like this i'll be providing link in the description so you don't have to worry on that for both amd and geforce so here it is mine uh, nvidia so here as you can see i have given the details that is i have to select uh, the geoforce then i have to give for rtx and all the details are given here so i have to go for start search simultaneously if you're on the amd give all the details and go for it so you'll be getting the respective options and right now as you can see okay right now if i go for search i'm having two options over here as you can see i'll be getting get download options but here in the case for those who are actually given them they will be getting some options like roll back to the latest version roll back to the version that is uh, the rollback version 517.48 they'll be able to get it so for those users who are able to get it most probably what they have to do is they just have to go for that particular one they just have to go for that particular that means they have to download it here i have been i'm not able to see it i don't know why but in your case when you give the respective details you will be getting an option like where there will be like the simultaneously over here it will be mentioned in another section that is rollback graphic drivers that is 517.48 so just roll back the drive download the respective one and install the .exe make sure you have to roll it back to the 517.48 because that is where it's working many of the users work it and they got really helped by this step so i request you have to do the same simultaneously on the amd if you're on the amd just give the respective details like rtx and select all the details and go for it and go for the submit options and you have to 
just check and if you're getting in your all box or all back option most probably it will be there so you have to download it simultaneously that is what you have to do let's move to the next step next step is all about what you have to just have to manually install the graphics card as you said earlier rollback can be also done by manually at the same times the normal installation can also be done by manually so this is the nvidia official and this is amd official so here you have to manually update or install the drivers to the latest version so where you can do from yourself go for start search and you'll be getting complete a uh, couple of uh, options like this just download the latest version simultaneously on the amd you have to do the same give the details of your graphics card and select the model and just go for it and go for submit and download and install that is what you have to do so that is what the basic step and let's move to the next step next step is all about you have to verify the integrity of game files as you can see sometimes you know all the games we downloaded very recently they might be having some bugs from uh, when you're trying to download so all these kind of bugs gets completely fixed up using this option which is called verify integrity of game files for that you just have to go over on the library and you have to go so here i don't have game on xbox sorry on steam i'm having it on other thing that is called epic games launcher here i'm not having the game so don't get confused or don't get irritated so if you wanted to update the game to the later i mean you have to verify the integrity of game file from here you have to select the game for example i'll show an example with uh farming sim uh, sorry i'll show an example with forza horizon 5 so here you just have to right click and go to properties do the same for any game if you wanted to update it i mean you have to verify integrity of game file from here go to local files there is an option called verify integrity of game file just click on this one this is going to take a little bit of time because it's coming it's fixing if any bugs are happening over there and they will be fixed from there and so you just have to wait for it very patiently once it is done try to launch the game and that may might be working out and that is what you have to do and next step is all about you have to put dx11 and dx12 launch in the launch option that is uh, i think everyone knows it so even i'll show you just uh, in your Steam, those uh, to the viewers who are watching this, just open your Steam and navigate to library. You will be able to get the Uncharted game here. So just select it and go for properties. When you go for it, as you can see over here in the launch option under this, I have already given it for uh, DX12. So you have to try with uh, DX12. Then if it's not working, just change it to DX11. Might be that might be working out, and this is what you have to do. So this is what you have to try out and sometimes it might work it and it had helped it but i am you know you can try out let's see or let let's take all the possibilities to fix the issue okay so uh moving to the next one that is all about you have to unplug the controller then over gamepad and usb toggle so what do you have to do you just have to launch the game at this after launching the game just unplug the controller and the usb toggle that is what you have to do because I don't know why this this particular method is helping for some users and for some it's not working. I have no idea. But I have found it from the Reddit where one person has said this has worked him many times. When you are having stuck on loading screen, black screen, I don't know how it is working or how it is related but it helped them. Just do the same. Next step is all about you have to run the game as administrator. Here, when you are trying to launch the game as an administrator as you can see. You just have to open the Steam for all the Steam users. Just navigate over here in the left side, select over here and go to properties. Now from here what you have to do is you just have to go to the launch over here or you can go for updates or you can go for local file. As you can see over here it is the game is there so click on the browse. So what happens is this will take you to the installer folder where the game is installed. So you can just go over here right click over here and go for even there is an option run as administrator from here itself just go for run as administrator do the same for the uncharted but if you're on the epic games do not do this step because if you try this step then running the game as administrator on epic games will cause you an error which is ls003 that will be happening so i request for the epic games users do not try this step Moving to the next one is all about you have to update your windows to the latest version. So you can check over here for the windows update just go over here navigate to uh, sorry just go over here navigate to settings go for windows update and you can check to update the windows from here you can go for try if it's it's if it's not getting updated properly then we just have to use the wind, uh, windows update assistant 
for that i have given it in, in the uh, i mean it is given in the uh, i have given it in the description so what you have to do is as you can see here this you can just have to click on this particular thing and here as you can see the windows 10 2022 update version 2 to x2 is available just go for update now and also you can uh, use uh, windows 10 installation media if you wanted you can go for that also simultaneously if you want the windows 10 11 installation assistant you can download that also from here and you can update your windows to the latest version that is very important what you have to do next one is all about you just have to select the debug mode in the nvidia control panel and this is also it's like a myth i don't know how it worked one of the subscriber commented this worked for it so i'm going to show you for those who are on the nvidia control panel right click over here on the desktop then you just have to go over here and show more options and he'll be able to see the nvidia control panel now from here when it's get opened up what you have to do is you just have to click on help option over here now from here you just have to click on debug mode you just have to click on debug mode and once it is done you just have to close it just go back to the steam and try to launch the game and that might be working out moving to the next one is all about you have to increase the virtual memory right it can be done from your side so increasing the virtual memory is all good first we have to know what is the ram of your pc or laptop for that you just have to go over here go to settings now from here just go to system and uh, go to about now from here as you can see my ram is around 32 gb okay so if i wanted to update it i mean if i wanted to change the initial and uh, final size i have to follow the instruction go over here and i have to search for view advanced setting okay i have to click on view advanced system setting now from here i have to click on settings now from here i have to click on uh, advanced i have to go for uh, change now i have to select where the game is installed right now as you can see i have and before that this is where the most probably the game i used to install you have to select the respective folder if you're installing on another thing and here if you it is unticked you have to untick it i mean if it is ticked you have to untick it and also you have to make sure that you have to click on custom size so here we have to do a calculation so i'll show you that so for that we need a calculator okay so uh, right now as you can see okay so i'll do one thing i'll keep this okay so we'll do like this here as you can see i have to give the initial size value as well as maximum size value as i said earlier i have already told you what is my ram my ram is 32 gb so i have to do a calculator so initial size should be 1.5 times the ram the original ram okay what is your ram it depends on it for example if it's 8 gb you have to go for it if 32 gb just go for it so here mine is 32 gb but i have to convert this one into the mb for that i just have to click on the basic value that is 32 into 1024 that is means which means that is 32 is 8 gb so that is in gb i have to convert it to mb that means 1024 is the particular basic value so this is 32768 is my value now for the initial size i have to multiply it with 1.5 so that is 49 1 49 154 oh sorry 49 152 so i have to paste it okay so simultaneously i have to go for the next one that is i have to give the initial value okay so i have to give the initial uh, sorry maximum size so here i have to go for the same 8 into sorry not 8 into 32 so i have to go for uh, minus 32 so i have to go for 32 into oh, sorry i got 32 into 1024 okay so that is 32768 okay now i have to multiply this into 3 because i have to give the maximum size so it should be multiplied with 3 so i'll go for 3 so that is 98304 so i'll copy i'll paste it and go for set and try to launch the game and that might be working out this is what you have to do so this is very simple because this worked for many of the users okay that is very simple and moving to the next one next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that you just have to go over here and what you have to do just have to go for graphics settings or you have to search for it and here i have already added two games 
So right now you just have to, if the game is not here, Uncharted is not here, so you have to click on Browse option. So it will be taken to Steam, Steam apps, Common, Forza Horizon 5. So all Steams will be, Steam downloaded games will be here. You have to add it over here. So once you add it, you'll be able to see like this. Now the question is, you have to set into high performance. That means you have to run it on a dedicated graphics card. For that, you just have to select the respective game. And you will be having the option called this option just click on this one and set this to high performance and once it is done you just have to close this and you just have to try to launch the game from the steam and it might be working out moving to the last and the least one couple of workaround that might be working out is all about you have to disconnect multiple monitor if it is available on your pc you have to make sure uh, that the windows is up to date and you have to make sure all those things and also you have to install visual c++ that is quite important so, so i'll be giving the link in the description over here i have already given here so here you just have to open the respective link just go over here make sure that your pc is 86 or 64 depending upon it just download it once you are downloaded <coughs> sorry once you're downloaded you just have to uh, update it and you have to see that you are able to, i mean you have to install it and after installing most probably this might be worked because here I have already installed the Microsoft Visual C++ you can see it from here I have to go to control panel now from I have to go program and features and even if I scroll down you will be able to see that I have already many times I have installed this one right for every single video when I am trying to uh, demonstrate it to the viewers and subscribers I download and install it so here I have already downloaded and installed it so I am not doing this but in a case you have to download and install it so this is what you have to do and also sometimes some possible workarounds i would like to add along with this is you just have to make sure the windows are up to date and you have to uh, disable over uh, overclocking apps and things which you have already done over there if it's running in the background you have to make sure that part and also you have to make sure that you're having enough configuration because many users just comment on the comment section and they say you know it's not working that your steps are not good the thing is you know should be having in a specification so also you'll be having the trouble so that is quite important so keep a habit and also you have to do this and this is what you have to do in all the all the all the way around when you wanted to fix so guys that is what you have to do when you're having an issue with Gotham Knights crashing on startup black screen not launching or it's not loading freezing and stuttering low fps drop and many other things like i told you earlier we have updated the article so you can refer it not only on the Gotham knights but you can parallelly refers on uh, i think on plague tale you can refer simultaneously on uncharted which is right now we're working on it and also you can refer on many more other topics like you know i android games iphones and ipads social media windows etc so I'm not wasting much time. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. And if you have any kind of doubts, you can ask in the comment sessions where I used to replay back. And I used to replay back for all the comments. So you can ask in the comment sessions. We'll definitely look onto it. And if you have having any kind of suggestions, do let us know so that we can take the video on that particular topic. And we need your support. And that is the most important thing. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. And if you're having any suggestions, do let us know. So that's what it's all about when it comes to the Gotham Knights and let's move to the let's wind up so uh, that's what it's all about it so uh, thank you so much and have a wonderful day see you soon in the next video bye bye.